So now you know what is thousandize devices looks like. So let's go ahead and mm, discover a device. As you can see, there is no devices. Um, so we'll go ahead and do a start discovery. Also, if you want to learn more, there is a architecture be behind that, below that. Find a new device, basic configuration. Basic configuration, that's where we are going to focus target, monitoring agent, and credentials. Credentials, why? Because we want to discover a device using SNMP. DE supports both variety of SNMP, that is SNMP V2C and SNMP v 3 as well. But we will keep it simple. That means no authentication, no encryption, we'll use SNMP V2C, right? So all you need is community string. Monitoring agent. The monitoring agent in question that we are going to use is the agent running on AWS cloud, right? In earlier video, we spin up a cloud agent on AWS, and we are going to use that agent to monitor an on-prem device after discovery, right? So now the final thing is target. Target can be anything which our monitoring agent can reach. Um, without any uh, problem and in this case for demo purposes i'm using my gateway firewall which is cisco asa right so what we need for monitoring agent we need a fqdn or ip address so let's get an ip address and obviously the ip address should be publicly reachable because our cloud agent is sitting uh, in public domain all right so now we know the target IP address. We already have the monitoring agent in place. And I'm going to show you again, if you have um, not watched the earlier video. So this is my target monitoring agent name is AWS TE agent. And this is a cloud agent managed, uh, not, not managed by thousand eyes, but managed by the organization or myself. All right, now, I'm running the discovery. As you can see, the, the wheel is spinning. Uh, we have credential, we have target monitoring, everything. Agent is running. As you can see, the instant state is running. Right, This is the agent, which is going to reach out to my uh, gateway firewall uh, using SNMP discovery messages. Caveat, ensure that SNMP queries are allowed from enterprise agent to each devices your target or network devices, right? So basically what it is saying that you have to ensure that SNMP queries from monitoring device to target device is unrestricted. And in this case, as you can see, we are trying to uh, discover a firewall itself. It may happen that when you try to discover your on-prem infra, you have a firewall in between and that firewall is blocking UDP 161, that is SNMP queries. As you can see on my screen, I have SNMP server host allowing outside, but the IP address is not matching with what we have from monitoring agent. So let's fix that. So you have to allow uh, SNMP queries from outside, but this is specific to uh, this demo instance, uh, but keep in mind that you have to ensure that your SNMP queries are rest unrestricted between um, target and monitoring agent. Right. As we have, uh, let's go ahead and fix that, and then we will rediscover. I did that intentionally uh, to recreate the problem. So this is the monitoring agent IP address, and I have to allow this IP address with UDP port 161 on my outside interface. I don't want to like allow for everything because that's not safe. So I know what is my monitoring agent IP address looks like. That's why I'm saying SNMP server host outside monitoring agent going to UDP 161. All right, as soon as I did that, you can see the SNMP uh, started getting response. And the first thing is I have the host name. Other views may not populate immediately. Uh, give it some time, uh, maybe five, 10 minutes, come back and you'll see your device and their information started showing up under devices and views, right? You, if you go to device setting now, as you can see, the de uh, device is available, type is uh, characterized as router, fairly close. Um, and um, 
you can schedule a discovery you can send device notification and all those things like if a device goes offline if a new device is added you can get that kind of notification because te is very rich in terms of alarm and notification right and we will talk about a so only about alarms and notification in a separate video and i'll show you how many different ways you can get notified maybe a email webex integration third party integration whatnot and also the beauty is you can actually have your own condition you don't want to mindlessly get notified every time something goes up and down you can put a condition or make it dynamic so i'm jumping ahead actually we will have a follow-up video on alerting so that's what you can do with the notification rule go back to devices now you can see all the details about the te agent right what are my monitor interface because snmp is sending if index so i can see all the interfaces virtual or physical everything you can associate a alert rule to that so sometime if you want to monitor your outside interface if some if, if it goes down you want to get notified you can do that using alert uh, uh, attaching a alert rule all right advanced setting you can uh, this these are the ip address associated in private public you can actually reduce query size so a lot of things you can do uh, with, within the device setting itself complete detail about your device interestingly agent goes offline that is my aws te agent it may be a blip uh, because I'm pretty sure the agent is running. So let's go back and check on AWS. You can see uh, our AWS TE agent is running and that's a TE T2 medium. So it may be a blip. Uh, let's go and check agent on T itself. As you can see, AWS TE agent recently uh, just contacted. So it is very much up. Let's go back and see if it has come back. Okay. So in the view section, uh, just like the test uh, settings, you can see your devices, a device here, you can find all the details. Also, you can see uh, metrics on time series scale um, above there. All right, now as you can see, device is online. Yeah. So that was a a glitch all right now let's go back to view in the view you can discover the topology you can see the details around that what is the cpu utilization memory utilization all those things in topology interface table device table you can see all those details just like the test uh, as you are familiar with the test settings pretty much consistent view what is my memory look like what is the throughput discard error rate everything that's the thing what you want to monitor for your device and that's what you're getting here right so if you look click on interface table this is very powerful you have all the interfaces and their mac addresses ip addresses what is the speed negotiated and throughput uh, what is my throughput looks like on um, and if there is any discard um, showing up so all those information you can see on te itself so I, I i think this is amazing this is very powerful and this can be as real time as snmp can be now above there you can see you have your device you can go back 7 day 14 days and you can select the matrix which is throughput discard error and it can plot the chart with that matrix based on the timeline you have selected maybe one day or seven day or 24 hours so this is all about devices um, thank you for watching the video i hope you like it please like subscribe share and spread the word thank you